there's more role play in a fucking office game than there is on no pixel right now i agree that's what blows my fucking mind it's like everybody it's i've admit i'll admit i watched this clip so i'm just gonna let you guys know from already sort of watching this clip we'll watch it but like dude trav spits facts here and the reality is like a bunch of people are treating no pixel and like gta in general it, it just feels like gta online or it just feels like like some weird mmo it's like people aren't trying to create stories and i'm not saying like the story needs to be some long grand arc it's like people just aren't treating even small little moments as like a little mini like story to be had you don't like it's like it doesn't I, have to be I think like, i think it not, doesn't have to be these long arcs it can just be little mini stories and people are just like it just feels like people are playing a fucking video game everybody but there's like uh this is this is my opinion this is how i feel right there's a majority of people who stream on twitch and they're looking for clout and they come to no pixel some of them find it like uh i mean obviously like i'm fucking i'm fucking one of them uh but it's like instead of fucking role playing, they just suck each other's dicks and become these like self inserts that just treat other people like mechanics and only interact with their core group that they want to. There's no reaching out to other people. There's no fucking creating RP scenarios for other people. If it doesn't involve their friends, then fuck everyone else. If it doesn't involve getting more clout, then fuck everyone else. I mean, that's, it's literally fucking, it's literally turned into, uh, yeah. It's, it's like, it's fucking sad, dude. Someone said CB, you're acting like, you're acting like Buddha. Well, let's let's not let's let's look at Buddha. Buddha literally goes out of his way to extend role play and opportunities to as many people as he can. Like, I'll, I'll even give you the we get whitelisted. Like Buddha gets whitelisted Coke and decides for to just completely ignore the MMO grindy mechanics of it, of what what it could be. And basically starts an entire arc that is about building up a cryptocurrency group and build, bringing in a ton of new people to then push this to the rest of the city. And like literally, if you really think of the, the in-character reason is, oh, we don't give a fuck about these people. We'll let them get burned underneath us, Mickey. When OOC, it's, hey, I'm going to give a bunch of fucking opportunities to a bunch of new role players to do some cool shit. Let's be real. Because here's here's the here's the thing about it, right? I do think I do think that the fucking mechanics are dope. I do think what the devs do are is fucking insane. The amount of work and everything they put into it is fucking is amazing. But there's this culture that is stemmed from whatever it is that people don't use the necessary mechanics to role play. They just use it as the basis for their content. So what ends up happening is their content literally just turns into whatever the fucking game mechanic is. And one of the things that drives me crazy about that is you think of a game like Fortnite and the reason, the reason why RP is so fucking cool to watch is because it's, it's, it's fucking unpredictable. You don't know what's going to fucking happen. So what ends up happening with something that is mechanic based, um, is it's like, okay, let's go back to Fortnite. You drop in, you get as many kills as you fucking can. And then you just, do it over and over and over and over again. And the longevity of something, a game like that, like the, 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 it spikes and it kind of just ends. The thing with RP is it's not the case. There's always new scenarios. You don't know what's going to happen. And what ends up happening with this is now we're going into that mechanic based content and people literally just fucking do the same shit over and over and over. And it's like, again, it's like, okay, that's where the cloud is. That's like an instant spike and in everything where it's just like, dude, it's not it's it's not it's not why i fucking that's not why i fucking role play you know what i mean
I agree with his takes on this a lot, honestly, chap. This has just felt like a lot of people like, are now, like now it's like it's super frustrating in swings. But now it's it's like it's not an admin thing, it's not a fucking dev thing, it's literally a fucking culture thing at this point. All blood said was good chase. It's not even it's not even that. It's okay, so here's the thing. It's literally not that one instance. This is like this is like a co this is collectively like events that fucking happen throughout the server that has happened over the last few months where I'm just like, dude, like this fucking like dude, it fucking sucks. It wasn't even how the chase played out. It's just like everything fucking it's like everything just fucking rolls that way. How crazy is it? I think it's fucking crazy like I would say, like, th this is my, th here's a fucking hot take. Like, I love Chain Gang, don't get me wrong. But Chain Gang was like, I mean, like, Chain Gang will fuck you up. And I feel like they are, there has been a lot of fucking heat on Chain Gang in the past. And I get more roleplay out of fucking Chain Gang than I do fucking 90% of the server. Not to like, I'm not bashing chain gang in any, that sounds really bad, but I mean, that's the fucking, that's, that's the fucking reality. Everybody is a fucking, everybody is a hard ass criminal with zero fear from the cops. It's just like, it, I feel like it just, it, it, I, th I feel like the, the high tiered people, like the high tier crime organizations, like it fucking devalues every, like when everybody's like that, like nobody's like that. You know what I mean? Like it devalues everything on the server. That's why I've always been a cop apologist. Um, and it's why I really value the police and why I've been consistently saying that. Why I also don't just role play Mickey as another. Yeah, my character is a badass criminal who's good at these at these skills. My criminal is a good driver, hacker and shooter. And is loyal and will always go back for his boys and will shoot the cops. And yeah, you know, it's like. It's actually weirdly why I really like how Saikuno role plays you know that you know actually feels like a unique criminal that just isn't like every other character. Um I'm sure there are pro there are problems on the cop ends too uh, as well, but yeah, I mean like Oh, I mean I think I think I role played pretty decently literally just by using black bars and music and by just trying to like you know, not always chase a W. And even I'm not a great role player. I, I, I'll be honest. I think I actually role play. I think I do really well in the server, and I don't think I'm a great role player. That's how. Uh, yeah. Anyways, on the bright side, on the bright side, and this is the really bright thing. Trav, you look great, man. Honestly. Skin looks fantastic. The neck tattoo looks incredible. I mean, you're you're a good-looking dude. 